Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did something completely different from what I usually gravitate towards. Um, I did a cut crease and apply lashes just for you guys. Um, used this Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. I highly recommend this eyeshadow palette and probably any of the other ones. Um, I haven't tried any other ones, but this one is pretty gosh darn amazing. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then continue watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you really soon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are just going to jump right into it. I got a bunch of new makeup that I just purchased, and I'm going to try out some new techniques and jump out of my comfort zone of using warm eyeshadows. I think I'm going to try this new Huda Beauty um, Sapphire Obsessions palette. It's completely out of my comfort zone. It's just blues and a green, lime green shade. So let's see how this goes. All right, first I already primed and moisturized my skin. I use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer and the Smashbox Smooth and Blur Primer. And foundation I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've been hearing a lot about this. Um, this is a dewy one. I think they have a matte one. And the shade I'm going to use is Shell Ivory. Which I thought was kind of neat about this is it has like a little spatula to like dig out the foundation. So let's dab this all over my face here. And then I'm going to take the Tati Beauty Blendful and blend out this foundation. Okay, so I think this foundation can, is like a medium to full coverage. Um, I'm assuming you probably could um, build up it, but I think I like the way it is right now. Kind of gives me a dewy glow. So next I'm going to use the Hourglass Birch Vanish Concealer here. And cover up my dark circles use the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 Fair. Looks like that. And I'm going to take the Tati Beauty Blendiful little heart shaped one that comes with it. And put it under my eyes to prevent creasing. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to take the Jaclyn um, Do Me Luminous Powder, and I've been putting that pretty much everywhere to give me that dewy glow. Is anybody as stoked as I am for the new um, Jaclyn eyeshadow palette that she's collaborating with Morphe? Because I'm pretty excited. They're like summery bright colors. Pretty excited about it. I'm going to use the Shade and Light Contour Palette. Mm, there's my brush out there. It is. Using the these two shades right here, Sombre and Shadow Play. Take a Morphe M439 brush and just use that to kind of blend out that contour shade. Then I'm going to use the Morphe Cool Pro 8C blush palette and I think I'm going to mix these two shades. Two shades. Sexy and driven on a blush brush, the Morphe Jacqueline Hill JH04. I'm going to take the Jaclyn the Flash Highline Palette and use Gleam and Sparks, which are these two colors right here, on a Morphe R36 brush. Then I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe and put on my eyebrows.
I'm going to take the brow is the little spooly part and kind of go through my brow hairs to kind of blend it out. Alright, now let's jump into the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions and I'll take a blending brush. Take I don't know what do I know this one is? Coastal Scents blending brush. And I'm going to take this shade right here, this turquoise blue matte shade, and put that into my crease. So is anybody excited about Jeffree Star's new? I guess eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure what he's releasing, but I think it's next week he's going to be announcing it. And then a lot of posts, it's going to be green or it's going to be purple. And I think it's going to be purple, but I could be wrong. I kind of hope it's purple because I like a purple eyeshadow palette. That and Jaclyn Hill's palette. I want, I must have them in my collection. Now I am going to dip into this dark, well not dark, it's like a cobalt blue shade. My show brush leaves. And that shade is this one right here. And I'm using the Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush, my favorite brush, to pack color on the outer corner. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes. Get on my eyeball. Eyelid, I mean. I go back with that other brush and lightly blend out the edges. And going back with that brush.
think I'm going to put some translucent powder down underneath my eyes. So, if there's any fallout, I can just sweep it away. Any type of translucent powder will work. I'm just grab it when I have right on my desk. Alright, so I'm taking that dark blue shade there on a Morphe E18 brush and packing it in the outer corner there. Just deepening it up. I'm going to take that little blending brush there and just lightly blend that out a little bit. Not too much. Because you still want that turquoise blue to show. I'm going to lightly blendly blend that out. So pretty. Why have I not bought this palette sooner? Okay, now we are going to cut the crease. And this is the first time I ever cut a crease. So I'm going to use this P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 01. Um, Nikki Tutorials uses this. And if she uses it and her eyes look freaking amazing like they always do, then I'm going to try it. And I'm going to use this Morphe brush. It's a little tiny detailing eyeshadow brush. And I put some on the back of my hand there. And I'm going to put this on to my lid. Cut the crease. Um, why have I not done this sooner? It's pretty gosh darn good. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Pretty good for my first time trying the cut crease. I mean, not amazing at it, but not too bad. So now I am going to place this lime green shade with a packing brush. Where's my back? There we go. I want. I'm not. This is an an elf shadow brush. It's like that. No, that's not the one I want. Mm. Okay, this is a Morphe eyeshadow brush. Basically the same thing. I'll put that 
right where I put that cut crease at. Okay, and then I'm going to take that dark blue again, and pack it in the outer corner here, and then I'm going to take, mm, I think I'm going to take this metallic blue shade there and place it right in between the lime green and the dark blue. Kind of brush. Um, let's say Morphe brush. I want to put the silver shade here. I want to put that like right up there. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll try. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let's do the lower lash line. I'm going to use my little blending smudging sponge. I'm going to take that turquoise blue and smudge out my lower lash line. I'm going to take that cobalt blue on a JH39 and smoke this out. This is obviously not an everyday look. I mean, to each their own. Ooh, this would be so pretty if you had a lime green eyeliner. Like there. Like put it in the waterline that lime green, that would be, be amazing.
using the same brush, I'm going to take that dark shade and deep it out. Okay, let's let's do the eyeliner now. The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, my new favorite. It was the Kat Von D um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pen, but this has taken its place and it's amazing. Let's use my black Urban Decay Perversion 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil and put it in my waterline. I'm going to take that sponge smudging brush that I have and smudge this out. Okay, mascara. I'm going to use the Milk uh, Kush Mascara. Take some lashes. I'm going to use these. What are these called? They came in this kit like this, and they, I think they're. I don't know which ones they are. But they're like. They like gradually like get thicker and longer. So. I'm going to put some lash glue on here and apply these bad boys to my eye. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and we'll be back to do my lips. Okay, finished with the eyes. This lash over here is doing something funky. I'm not sure what is going on. I'm about to rip it off. But let's use the Anasta, or not Anastasia, Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner in the shade Love Trap and line my lips.
And then I'm going to use this Revlon cream lipstick in the shade Fair It All. Looks like that. I'm going to top that over on top of this. Okay, I think that is it. I really, really like how the eyeshadow turned out. This is completely like out of what I would usually do. I'd usually go for like a warm um, colors. That's just what I, my eye goes to. But this this is pretty good. This is pretty amazing. I might have to go buy some more of these. These are pretty bomb. Okay, so if you liked, liked this tutorial, um, leave me some feedback, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.